Hey guys, it's Lucas here. Boy, did we get a storm today. It's a shame, knocked down a lot of my hard work in the garden and I got a lot of fixing to do. Started working on it, but the wind is still whipping pretty hard and uh, I feel like it's a little dangerous being out here right now. It's a shame, my tomatoes, I tried to reinforce the trellising yesterday and trim down some of the weight. It wasn't enough for this storm and this strong of winds. So yeah, let's check out some of this devastation. My tomatoes completely knocked over, plants knocked all over the place, but not worried. We'll salvage what we can. We'll build it stronger. It's happy nothing fell on my house and, and I'm happy I'm not a farmer who relies on these crops for a living because whew, that wind. They must, they must be dealing with some devastation right now. passed over us but the wind is still sticking around and gusting pretty strong so it's not really safe to be out in the garden. I'll give you a quick look and then I'm probably head back in the house. But yeah my poor zinnias all laying down. My eggplants I'm gonna have to retrellis them. Sunflowers are knocked down over here. The tomatoes, the tomatoes are the worst, but you know, my trellising just wasn't, wasn't strong enough. And these cheap plastic poles, they just all bent and snapped right over. Little by little, I'm picking up my plants one by one, doing a little like lean and lower action here. And then I'm just gonna put one plant per pole Harvest what I can. Plants still look pretty healthy. Sirens going off. It's, it's chaos out here. There's probably a lot of trees down in the village. All right, I'll update you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna go back inside right now. It's a little crazy out here. All right, so the sun's coming out and the wind's looking a little less scary. So I'll come back out here and see what I can do. Branches down everywhere. Heard a lot of people in the village, uh, their electrics out. So we were lucky there because our electric stayed on through the storm. Yeah, I think the tomato plants will survive. We'll just have to prune them. We'll lose some tomatoes. We'll lose some zinnias. I'll just prune away and salvage what we can and I'm just gonna start planting some fall crops soon anyway some new lettuce and some new kale and stuff and the, gotta just reinforce some things that are falling over like the, the eggplants over here and then one by one I'm just gonna take apart my old trellising and we're going to give each plant its own pole we're gonna prune them down maybe cut the top off make them a little shorter because they are pretty tall and pretty heavy so yeah i was worried about my tomatoes falling over because i knew it was pretty heavy and it went down so the good thing is that they're lying on the ground and they look like they're okay. I'm gonna lose some tomatoes, but the plants still look pretty strong. And that's awesome. I'm gonna have to try to pickle some green tomatoes. I just got for my birthday, I got this fermentation kit that my wife got me. So I'm gonna be pickling some pickles and we're gonna pickle some green tomatoes. But yeah, it's all a learning experience for me. You know, I'm upset that I'm gonna lose some stuff, but I don't think it's as bad as I 
thought it was going to be when I looked outside and saw everything lying on the ground. So that's nature for you. It can get tough out here and I'm just you know, happy I don't rely on this for a living. I'm just a hobby gardener and even if I lost all of it, I'd be okay. Whereas some of these poor farmers out there, they lose, they'll lose their livelihood over something like this and that's terrible. Wish me luck. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done retrails and everything. I probably won't get through all of it tonight. So I'll check back with you in the morning. Hey guys, good morning. Back outside in the yard, surveying the damage from Hurricane Isaias. And we got hit pretty hard yesterday, but we were pretty lucky to not lose power or have any trees fall down. I know a lot of people in my village and a a lot of people in this country lost power yesterday and we didn't, so thankful for that. My tomatoes went down pretty hard. I knew my trellising was uh, in trouble from all the weight from the tomatoes and all it took was a big storm like this with some heavy winds to just knock it down. But luckily, the tomato plants sort of just laid down on the ground and I lost some tomatoes, you know, I'm gonna have to make some fried green tomatoes. Check out all the green tomatoes I have so far that I've had to pick up off the plants. I might pickle some and maybe I'll try some fried green tomatoes. We'll put them to use. Maybe I'll even donate them to the local shelter or something. So, spent a lot of hours, me and the wife yesterday, re-trellising things that blew over. We had to retrellis the flowers, retrellis the eggplant, the peppers, and I spent a lot of time on those tomatoes. You know, I have, I think I have 18 tomato plants. I had to completely cut up my old trellising and take them apart and retrellis them one by one. And it was a lot of work, but getting there and it's stronger than ever. Pruned them while I was doing it and Saved a lot of tomatoes, which is great. You know, we, uh, I'm pretty excited at what I was able to salvage after that storm because when I first saw things falling down, I just thought, oh man, I could lose all my tomatoes, but not the case. Still gonna have lots of tomatoes and that's an awesome thing. I still have three more tomato plants to get off the ground. It got a little late last night and I and it was dark and I couldn't see what I was doing anymore, so I had to call it a night. All right, gotta get to work. Gotta get those plants off the ground and start cleaning up this mess. All right, well, that's a beautiful sight for me. To see all of my tomato plants standing upright again. Sort of rigged up whatever I could and used whatever poles I could find. Good to see the pollinators back in the garden again. These zinnias were laying down yesterday on the ground. And a day later, standing up again and eating up the sun and attracting those pollinators. So great to see. I like what I did with my tomatoes because they were getting pretty long. And I actually had to cut the tops off of them to stop them from growing because of that, these indeterminate varieties will keep growing as long as you want to let them grow. What I did, I just laid them on the ground, pruned them heavily, and then tied them up to a pole like so. Over here, I couldn't prune them as heavily because there were some tomatoes here. So I just put an extra little post here to distribute some of the weight and tied that off right there and then ran it to another pole here and tied it up that way like the way it came out glad to see everything off the ground so happy to see that i still have a ton of green tomatoes on my plants i harvested a ton of ripe tomatoes and good to see that the rest of the garden made it through the storm. We 
we've lost some stuff, but not much. Still have a thriving garden a day after a brutal storm. Still got to tie up these zinnias and maybe do a little more work on the peppers and maybe tie up the raspberries a little bit more. So there's still some work to be done, but my main goal was to get those tomato plants off the ground as soon as possible. I think I have 18 total tomato plants and they're heavy. It was a lot of work, but got it done. Feels so good to know that I didn't lose them all. I don't look at my trellis breaking and falling down as a failure. I look at it as a learning experience and you learn something new every year. And definitely next year I'll be building my trellis differently than I did this year. So I hope everyone is safe out there and made it through the storm. That one was one for the uh, record books right there, Hurricane Isaias. A lot of my friends, they don't have electricity still a day later and they have some big trees down sending me pictures all morning. So we definitely lucked out. We still have electricity. Had a little scare with the tomato plants, but I was able to take care of that. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna get on with my day. Still got some work to do in the garden, work to do in the house, and a ton of sticks all over the yard that need to be picked up. Have a great day, guys. Stay healthy.